Tricky baby. No matter the currency. Hey Mzansi and welcome to Mzansi Scenes. So polygamy is not a concept that is foreign to us on the African continent or indeed other parts of the world. Despite this, the cultural practice still raises eyebrows. More than being about companionship, polygamy is about money and status. Across the world, the practice has traditionally been the privilege of those who could afford to marry and maintain many wives and children. Polygamy is legal in 58 out of nearly 200 countries countries and one of those countries is South Africa. In this video, we take a look at famous polygamists in the country and their many wives. At number one, we have Musa Mseleko. Musa is a TV personality, author, and most importantly, husband to four beautiful wives. Musa was born in 1975 in Zumbe, Kwamatlala. He attended high school at Prince Ngamizizwe, and after matriculating in 1993, he attended the University of KwaZulu Natal and graduated in 1997. The man is married to Matele, Mayeni, Makumalo, and Mangwabi. 44-year-old Musisiwe Magdalene Selego is the first wife. She and Musa met at a supermarket back in 2000. Musa has described his first wife as a woman of few words who still does not fail to express her dislike for anything. He also sees her as his friend and someone who knows his heart. Talking about her marriage to polygamist, Magdalene believed it was the will of God for her to marry Musa. She said that polygamy is against her beliefs, but God knows why he allowed her to be married to a polygamist. Although Magdale is his first wife, Musa was already dating his second wife Mayeni when he met her. He wanted to marry Mayeni first, however, while waiting for her parents' approval, he started seeing Magdale and eventually married her. Musa and Magdale had their white wedding in 2002. In 2019, their traditional wedding took place. Musa has three children, Luanle, Abongwe, and Wami. She is also raising Snentlantla, Musa's daughter from a failed relationship. The second wife is 39-year-old Nukukanya Mayeni. Seleko's marriage to Mayeni would never have happened considering the circumstances surrounding their relationship. Musa met Mayeni in 1997, but her parents refused to allow their daughter to marry a polygamist even though she was going to be the first wife as he was not yet married to anyone at the time. While waiting for her parents' approval, Musa got with Magdale and married her without Mayeni knowing. Mayeni confronted Musa and ended up forgiving him. In 2008, they got married at Home Affairs and then in 2019, five days after he traditionally married Magdale, they had their white wedding and traditional wedding. Mayeni has three children, Bumelelo, Nini and Obanzi. The third wife is 32-year-old Tobile Makumalim Seleko. She is the most stylish wife and the youngest. Musa describes Tobile as an open book but admitted she initially kept her feelings and opinion to herself but started opening up with time. He got married to Tobile in 2009 at Home Affairs. When Musa told the other wives that he was marrying Tobile, Mayeni threatened divorce. Sadly, Makumala has not been able to conceive a child for Musa during the 10-year relationship. Musa, on his part, has refused to help her get pregnant by any external means. He claims he's patient and will not succumb to Western methods as an African man and loves to be left with or without a child. The radio presenter takes care of Musa's second daughter, Mpila Entla, from an extramarital relationship. The fourth wife is 38-year-old Mbali Mangwabe Mseleko. Mbali got married to Musa in 2009 at Home Affairs, the same year as Tobile. Before they became co-wives, Musa introduced Tobile and Bali to each other. He had been dating both of them at the time. Tobile and Bali developed a chemistry and became good friends. Describing his fourth wife, Musa said she is good at holding on to offenses long after the offender, mostly himself, has forgotten the offense. Bali has two children, Mawande and Zenande. At number two, we have Jacob Zuma. Jacob is South Africa's former president. He ruled the country from 2009 till 2018 when he resigned. Prior to him assuming the highest office in the land, he had served as deputy president of South Africa from 1999 till 2005. Jacob Zuma is a polygamist who has been married six times. His first marriage was to Gertrude Sizake Lekumalo, who he met as a teenager in 1959. They married shortly after he was released from Robben Island in 1973. 
About three years later, in 1976, while he was in exile and his wife remained in South Africa, Zuma married a second wife, Mozambican Kate Mancho. He would later start another relationship with fellow ANC exile, Kosazana Tamini, and the two got married in 1982. They, however, divorced in June 1998. Zuma remained with two wives until January 2008 when he married Nombomele Londoli in a traditional ceremony. Two years later, in January 2010, he married Tobega Stacy Madiba, whom he had initially paid Lobola to her clan in 2007. In April 2012, the former president got married for the sixth time to Gloria Bungekile Ngema. Prior to him marrying Numpamele Londoli, Zuma had in 2003 paid 10 cattle as Robola for Swazi Princess Sibintile Tlamini. She was expected to become his wife, but Zuma did not go ahead with the arrangement, which was said to offend the Swazi royal family. In 2018, Nongangi Tonto, casually known as La Tonto, was revealed as Zuma's latest fiance. She had a child that year with Zuma, who is more than three times her age. Last year, there were reports that the relationship was over. However, in their reality show, Real Housewives of Durban, Nongangi is still wearing her ring, and the way she speaks of their marriage gives us the impression that they are still together. Nunga Nyuso is believed to be in her mid-twenties but has never disclosed her age because according to her, she enjoys seeing people assuming it and making up stories. It is no surprise to see that Jacob Zuma has more than 20 children, seeing that he has been married six times. From his marriage to his sixth wife, Zuma has no children. His second wife, Kate, however, gave birth to five of his children. Zuma's third wife, Ngosazana, gave birth to four children. Jacob and his fourth wife, Manduli, have three children. Stacey has three children for him, while Ngema has one son, Sungomo. Nongai Sokonto, who is reported to soon become his seventh bride, has a son that was born on his birthday in April 2018, and there are many more. At number three, we have King Zuelitini. The Zulu royal family is arguably the most well-known royal family in South Africa, and at its head, King Goodwill Zuelitini. Zuelitini was born in 1948 at Nongoma in KwaZulu Natal and was the eldest son of King Cyprin. The past 45 years has seen him take on five wives and father 28 children. In 1969, two years before taking the throne, he married his first wife, Queen Simongi Lezamini. They have five children from their 45 years of marriage. In 1974, Queen Mbuse Mamate became his second wife. One of their eight children, Princess Nandi, made headlines in 2002 when she married Chief Mpundom Dirara of the Amatemu royal household. Chief Mdirara was said to have paid the king 150 head of cattle for his daughter's hand in marriage. Third wife, Queen Manfombi Tlamini, is Swaziland's King Swati third sister. Married in 1977, she has eight children with Queen Zulitini. His son, President Sizulu, was rumored to be a strong contender to succeed the king. In 1988, the king married his fourth wife, Queen Taneke Lindobo. They have two daughters and a son. Fifth wife, Queen Nombomele Lomkiza's home in Yogeni Palace is considered the king's traditional palace and hosts the annual Nklangari dance every September. The couple have three children together. 35-year-old Zola Zelusiwe Kamafu joined the king's consort. She was only 17 when she was selected to become the king's wife and spent the last seven years before getting married in one of the royal homes. In 2005, she gave birth to the king's last-born, Prince Nlenda. The king's family has faced much scrutiny and criticism over its lavish lifestyle. Each wife has her own royal home and according to reports, it costs the taxpayer over 63 million rands per year to maintain the royal household. At number 4, we have Mongeni Ngem. Mongeni, born in 1956, is a writer, lyricist, composer, director and theatre producer. Born in Guazul Natal, he is best known as the creator of award-winning musical Sarafina and as one of the vocal arrangers for animated Disney film Lion King. Bungeni was previously married to three women at the same time, Pretoria State Theatre Chief Executive Oli Swangema, actress Abisile Mbungose, who was 16 years old when she married him in 1990, and former Generations actress Lele Dukmal. Allegedly, Gema is divorced from all of them. Mungeni discovered Leleti as a teenager, nurtured a talent, and later married her. They were together for 17 years. Leleti said she tried to make it work, but she couldn't. She was truly unhappy. She tied the knot with Mungeni in 1992 at the age of 22. At the core of her unhappiness was the fact that she had to share her husband with other women, and not just his wives, but girlfriends as well. 
At the time of their divorce, Mongeni married his fourth wife, Ukoze FM DJ Mraza Butelezi. Lelete said, when we met, he was married, and then came the idea of him taking another wife, and I tried to work around it, but I couldn't. Mongeni's marriage faced another crisis when Raza became a born-again Christian and started feeling uncomfortable with polygamy. She said worship opened her eyes up to the bad decisions she had made. At the time, she explained, If in God's eyes my relationship with Mungeni is not good, he will end things between us. All I can say is, I was blind but now I see. I've matured and learned my lessons. We want fame, money and stability. As a result, we find ourselves stuck in bad relationships. At number 5, we have Tidi Mholo. Tidi is an artist and activist and was the member of the Afropop group Malaika. Now, Tidi might not be a polygamist, but she is married into polygamy. Tidi was reported to be the second wife to Chief Kenny Ngove of Giyani in Limpopo. In 2011, it was reported that Tidi was at an advanced stage of pregnancy and was headed to Ngove village, where she was set to walk the aisle in a polygamous marriage with the tribal clan leader and businessman. It was also revealed that the singer would be sharing the throne with another woman. The chief, owning up to this, spoke through his spokesperson and informed the tribal council about his unborn baby. At number 6, we have Florence Maseba. Florence is an actor known for her role as Humulani on Movango. Florence is also married into polygamy. Her late child, Masakona, was the product of a polygamous relationship with Venna chief Livuani Matila. According to sources, the chief had officially introduced Florence to the royal councillors and his first wife before the child was born. He said, Florence visited the royal house several times, especially during celebrations. She was welcomed with warm hands by the royal family members and the chief's first wife. Another source said the child was of royal blood, hence he was laid to rest at 4 a.m. in the morning as dictated by the royal tradition and culture. Both the chief and Florence never commented on these claims. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below and hit the notification bell.